good morning students in the last lecture we discuss about the stationary wave formation of stationary wave and the node and anti node we also see that this node and anti nodes are alternately produced today we are going to see the properties of the stationary waves okay so while studying this properties of stationary wave we need to revise the formation of stationary wave how the stationary waves are formed stationary waves are formed when two waves having same amplitude same frequency traveling along the same path but in the opposite direction superimpose on each other they form a new type of wave which is called the stationary wave okay we also derive the conditions for the formation of node and anti node what are nodes nodes are the point which does not vibrate or vibrate with a minimum amplitude and what are anti nodes anti nodes are the point which can vibrate with the maximum amplitude okay so this all the properties we are going to learn here so today we are going to see the properties of stationary wave and what is the first property the first property is nothing but the definition how the stationary waves are formed two waves having same amplitude same frequency same amplitude frequency and path they all are same but in opposite direction two waves having same frequency same amplitude same path but in the opposite direction they form a stationary wave okay this is the first property of the stationary wave as we know there are two types of wave longitudinal wave and transverse wave okay if two longitudinal wave recombine with each other they are called as the longitudinal stationary waves okay and if two transverse wave combine with each other these are called transverse stationary waves so it is depend upon which type of waves are going to recombine if they are longitudinal waves it is called as a longitudinal stationary wave and if they are transverse waves it is a transverse stationary waves okay now this is the second property that this stationary waves are also divided into two type of waves it is longitudinal stationary wave and transverse stationary waves okay third property is that this stationary wave consist of some points which do not vibrate or vibrate with the minimum amplitude such points are called as nodes what are nodes nodes they are the particle which vibrate with the minimum stationary wave some particles vibrate with the maximum amplitude and such points are called as the anti nodes what anti nodes vibrate with the maximum amplitude Okay. 
Now we also see that this node and anti nodes are alternately produced. Nodes and anti nodes are alternately produced. Okay, so this is another property we can say that this nodes and anti nodes are alternately formed. Next is the distance between two successive nodes. The distance between two successive nodes is is called as or it is equal to lambda by two. The distance between two successive nodes or two successive anti nodes it is equal to lambda by two, where this lambda is the wavelength of the stationary wave. Okay. What is the sixth property? The sixth property says that the distance between one node and one anti node is equal to lambda by four. The distance between one node and one anti node is equal to lambda by four. Okay. So these are the properties of stationary wave in which the first property is the definition, second property is these stationary waves are divided into two parts, longitudinal and transverse. Their formation of nodes, nodes are the particles which vibrate with the minimum amplitude, anti nodes, anti node vibrate with the maximum amplitude. The distance between two successive nodes or anti nodes is equal to lambda by 2 and the distance between one node and one anti node is equal to lambda by 4. Okay, these are the properties of the stationary waves. Now, we are moving towards the comparison of progressive wave and we are moving towards the comparison means how to distinguish how to separate progressive wave and stationary wave? What is the difference between stationary wave and progressive wave? So, after this properties of stationary wave in your book on page number one hundred forty, we are given some comparisons between the stationary wave and the progressive progressive wave means the wave is traveling in a given direction without change of form but stationary wave is localized in a particular region okay so we are going to see some point of differences between the stationary waves and so we can write here these are the stationary waves and here the progressive so how we can differentiate stationary wave and progressive wave look at here what is the first point given in the book on page number 140 so first point is in a progressive wave the disturbance travel from one region to another with the definite velocity means this progressive wave is traveling from one place to another place with some velocity there are two types of velocity in the progressive wave one is particle velocity and the second is velocity of the wave so the progressive waves are moving from one place to another place with some velocity so we can write this progressive wave are moving with some velocity but what happens in the stationary wave stationary wave are at a place therefore the velocity of the stationary wave is equal to so this is the first point of difference between the stationary wave and the progressive wave okay now second amplitude are same in the case of progressive wave the amplitude is same. Same means, same means when it travels from one place to another place, everywhere while traveling the progressive wave, 
everywhere the amplitude will remain same in the case of progressive but what happen in the case of stationary wave in the case of stationary wave the amplitude changes with the displacement as the part as the stationary wave move in the forward direction or in the localized region the amplitude changes from place to place okay so in this case the amplitude remains same but in this case the amplitude varies or changes okay it changes with the displacement this is the second point of difference between the progressive wave and stationary wave now we are going to on the third point in stationary wave all the particles cross their mean position simultaneously but in progressive wave it does not happen in stationary wave all the particles vibrate about their mean position but in the case of progressive wave the particles are not vibrate all the particles are not vibrate about their mean position this is the third point of difference between the stationary wave and the progressive wave okay now we are going to the fourth point all the particles are stationary all the particles are moving all the particles are moving in the case of progressive wave when progressive wave travel from one part to another part to one place to another place all the particles all the medium are moving they perform simple harmonic motion okay but in the case of stationary wave in the case of stationary wave except except the nodes which remains constant which do not vibrate so we can say that all particles are not moving why we are going we are say that because the nodes which are formed in the stationary wave they vibrate the minimum amplitude or they doesn't vibrate about their mean position so we can say that all the particles are not moving some particles remain stationary at their place okay now we are moving to the next energy is transmitted from one region to another region we know that what is the function of wave what is the function of wave wave transfer energy from one part to another part wave transfer energy from one part to another part means in the progressive wave the energy is transferred from one place to another place but stationary wave it is localized in a particular region it is localized in a particular region therefore we can say that the stationary wave is not able to transmit energy okay so the energy transmission is equal to zero but in the progressive wave the energy transmitted from one point to another point okay so these are some points by which we can differentiate between the stationary waves and the progressive waves in this lecture we discuss about the properties of the stationary wave okay and then we differentiate the stationary wave from the progressive so the question can be asked for two marks state the properties of stationary wave so you need to write any four properties one property for half mark each so you must learn any four of these properties of the stationary waves and if they ask the comparison or the differentiation between the stationary wave and the progressive wave you must write two points on the stationary side and two points on the progressive side okay so this question also can be asked for two marks okay so in this way today we discuss about the properties of the stationary wave and the difference between the stationary wave and progressive wave in the next lecture we discuss some another properties 
and some another important topics in the chapter superposition of theory. This is for today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.